Welcome to Daily Armor. Our verse today will be found in the book of Revelation, chapter number 15, and looking at verse number 3. Revelation 15, verse number 3, and it says, And they sing the song of Moses, the sermon of God, and the song of the Lamb, saying, Great and marvelous are thy works, Lord God Almighty. Just and true are thy ways, thou King of saints. I was kind of looking for a, uh, some scripture about praise. I've been doing it for a couple of days. Been looking, reading through the book of Psalms. It's got so many good Psalms um, that are praising the Lord. Um, if you know uh, uh, anything about the book of Psalms, it is a book of songs. That's what Psalms is. They are songs to be sung to the Lord. And you don't just see that in the book of Psalms, but you see that, you know, throughout the scriptures. Here in the book of Revelation, something that stood out to me was I just loved all the descriptions of the Lord and even the mention of the different kinds of songs that are saying here. If you back up to verse number two, um, I just want you to notice that there had been a great, great battle going on. And but then there was victory. Uh, if you look at verse number two, it says, And I saw as it were a sea of glass mingled with fire, and them that had gotten the victory over the beast. Gotten the victory over the beast. And victory can happen in so many different circumstances in so many different ways. And if you look back through the scriptures, and if you know this about even your own self, this is something that you and I probably do without thinking about it, is that there will be a song that will come to mind that will remind us that God gave us the victory, that this because the lamb that was slain, that I have access to the Father for him even to make intercession for me and intercession for you. And so I just, this kind of, this verse stood out to me and um, and it's in in Revelation. And so there's some, some pretty, pretty heavy stuff going on here. And still yet victory was given of the Lord. And I want us to look real quick in verse number three. And they sang the song of Moses. Um, when I was looking up uh, some uh, some information about the song of Moses, it took me to the book of Deuteronomy, chapter number 32, and the book of Exodus, chapter number 15. And just going over Moses, is, um, he's just pondering on and thinking of, thinking about what the Lord had done, how the Lord had brought victory in their situation. If you look at um, Exodus chapter 15, they had just came through the, the Red Sea and the enemy had been defeated and they were victorious and they were shocked and amazed and they were glory. They, they didn't know how to glorify God in any other way, but through a song. And so many times that Sometimes we don't know how to thank the Lord enough and we don't know how to praise him enough and we do it through a song. So you may have a favorite song. Um, you may have different songs for different different things um, that help you thank the Lord. I know so many times for myself, I, I get wanting to thank him and wanting to praise him. The reason I go to his word is because the psalmist so many times has said what I'm thinking, what I'm feeling, what I'm trying to express. And I don't have, I, I stumble with my words and, to, and, and, and I want to express myself. And I can go to the scriptures and it helps me so much. And um, if you're like me as well, you can, you can go to a song. Somebody has written words and you're like, how did they know? How did they know that that's exactly what I've been trying to tell the Lord? That's ex trying. That's what I've been trying to express. That's what I've been trying to share with others. Is this is how wonderful God is. This is how amazing God is. And that's what it says here in this verse number three. It's talking about the song of Moses. And then it says the song of the lamb. And boy, are there a lot of songs about the lamb. We know who the lamb is. This is lamb, capital L. And uh, this is Jesus. What he did, he brought the victory when he took on our sin and then he took on that death that we deserve, but we were not even able to pay because we had sin, sin was keeping us. Sin was, sin was blocking us. But he came who knew no sin to be that for us. 
so he could be that sacrifice for us. And he is that lamb that was slain that brought the victory in my life and the victory in your life. And I know some days it feels like that we're not very victorious. That's just dealing with life and that's just dealing with things in the flesh. But when we really think about how our future looks, we have the victory because of the lamb. Um, I want you to notice these things that they that is described. It says, um, great and marvelous are thy works. The Lord has done some great and amazing, marvelous works. You think about the song of Moses and those things that that song is, is being, was, was written about. I mean, who would have thought that the waters would have been parted? And when it describes that, they were up in a heap. And it, and I, I liked how it described it and how that it was, um, you know, it was held back. It was this, this wall of water. Who's ever heard of a wall of water? You've heard of a rock wall, a solid wall, a concrete wall, a, a mountain of dirt to be a wall, but who's heard of a water of a wall water, a water made of wall. I mean, a wall, a wall made of water, a wall made of water. Who's heard of that? That is how marvelous and how amazing that our God is. And then to think about all the works that he has done. And I think about that when he saved me, that that was marvelous and that was wonderful. And that was beyond my comprehension that I, I had no hope. I had no way of getting to the Lord. I had no um, access to the Father, but he made the way. How great and marvelous are his works. He made the way. And I can sing about those things in those songs that are about Jesus. And it's all about the blood. Um, if, if, if not for the blood have been applied to my life, I would have no hope. But because the blood has been applied, I have all hope. He is my hope. Jesus is my hope. Um, when we move on and it says, um, great and marvelous are thy works. And I like how the, this title, Lord God Almighty, this title, Lord. Lord, when I look up the word Lord, it means supreme authority, controller, who to whom a person or thing belongs, power of deciding. It is Lord is, is a respectful title, meaning master. He is the Lord of all. He is the master of everything. He is the controller of everything. He controls our comings and our goings. He controls everything that we can't even comprehend everything that he controls. He is Lord. He is master. When we call him Lord, we are using that as a term of respect and endearment that he is in charge. Now, when you look on and you say, uh, not just Lord, but God, and when we look up the word God, it's that talking about that deity, that supreme, supreme deity, that supreme magistrate, that supreme judge, that supreme divinity, divine trinity, God. That is all three in one. That Lord is our master. He's in control. He is divine, holy. It's that, it speaks of that whole trinity. And then we move on to that word almighty. Almighty. All might. All powerful. He is omnipotent. All powerful. There is nothing that God can't do. There is nothing, not one thing that he can't do. He has all control over, and he has all the power to take control. And when we look at that and we think about that all powerful, that just blows my mind. That there's, we, if we have but faith to believe, it is amazing the things that we have seen and that we will see. And, and when it all comes, when we all see things that uh, the Lord brings uh, in and out of our lives and we realize, hey, the Lord did that in my life. The Lord did that in your life. And we just want to sing praises to him. We want to talk about how marvelous he is. We want to talk about how powerful he is. We want to talk about that lamb that was slain, that lamb that made that ultimate sacrifice for me and for you. And he's amazing. And sometimes I, 
I mean, just like in this devotion, and I would normally delete something when I fumbled with my words so much, but I want to express to you that I fumble with my words, and I love a song that puts it all together and is helping me with my words and puts it together for me, and I just want to thank the Lord for the marvelous, wonderful, great things he's done in my life. And I want to thank him and I want to praise him for the great things and the wonderful things he's done in your life as well. Thank you for joining me. I look forward to seeing you again soon.